I do think it is incredible the way sometimes you will find yourself in those situations where you just don't know how to deal with what's happening. We don't even know how to deal with the information that's coming at you. Tell, I'll tell you this, okay? Recently, something happened, and it's amazing the way sometimes just a little lint ball, a little ball of lint, can turn into a uh, clusterfuck. <laughs> An entire clusterfuck, and that's not a candy bar, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Milk chocolatey clusterfucks don't exist. <laughs> Full of peanuts and fuck. Nougaty fuck. What? All right. Here's what went down, okay? I'm standing beside this guy. This entire thing starts off with a sneeze. A sneeze started this entire situation off, okay? I'm standing next to this guy. I don't know this man. I've never met him before in my life or in a past life. I can sense this. <laughs> standing next to this man, never met him before. He turns towards me and he sneezes like this. He goes, <laughs> He actually, he, he actually did like the robot from 85. Oh! Yeah, he turns towards me and he sneezed and there was no blockage. There was no hand over the mouth. There was no burying the arm. There was no, the thing where you try to make somebody run away like you're about to turn into a werewolf. Hey, something's happening to me. Oh, nothing. No, he just cocked and flew. <laughs> Two things happened. First of all, it just, it scared the ever living out of me, okay? I jumped because it was very audible, very loud. But besides that, just the way the light was hitting this guy's face, debris came out. <laughs> A lot of stuff, almost like when you use Windex and you put it on mist mode, you know mist mode? As opposed to, what is that other mode? Laser mode? Does anybody even use that? Is that in case you want to mount a sniper scope on your Windex and... <clears throat> I got a stain about eight clicks. I am taking the shot. <gasps> Negative. I missed. I missed the target. I need one more. <gasps> got it. Let's go home, boys. I'm going to tell you right now, please, when you use the Windex bottle, never put that shit halfway. Always make sure it's lined up. There's no joke here. Don't do that. Bad things happen to good people. <laughs> I know somebody here is going to go home tonight and go, hold on, I got to try this shit. Hold on one second. What happens if you don't line it up? I just want to see. Hold on. What if when you did that, a fucking ghost came out of it? <laughs> <laughs> he told you not to. <laughs> I am Windextor. I will clean your soul. <laughs> he sneezed. Debris. Movement. Okay, now at this point I'm disgusted and I'm grossed out. Okay, I'm grossed out by it. And at first I think I'm going to go off on this guy. And then I decided, wait a second, Dane, don't do that. Take the high road. Try to be polite. So I turned to him and this is what I said. I looked at him and I went, uh, God bless you. <laughs> yeah, I said it like that. I said it like that. God bless you. Which, you know, is God bless you, but it kind of sounded like, cover your fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, incognito. I turned to the guy. I say, I say God bless you, by the way, when someone sneezes. I don't say bless you. I don't say that because I'm not the Lord. I can't do that. I'm just a messenger for big guns upstairs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I never go with Gesundheit. I don't know who even says that. If I say Gesundheit, I feel like I'm honoring Hitler. Like I should be like, Gesundheit! I end up on the History Channel because the guy sneezed. God bless you. This is what the guy comes back with, okay? Here's where it starts to get out of control. Guy looks at me and very condescending, 
He goes, uh, yeah, I'm an atheist. <laughs> yeah, what a jerk, right? I'm trying to be polite. I don't know you're an atheist, right? And even if I did, what am I supposed to say when an atheist sneezes? Uh, when you die, nothing happens. So now, oh man, now I start getting into like a religious debate with this guy. <clears throat> and it is awful, okay? He's questioning my beliefs. He goes, well, what about you? What did, what did you grow up? I said, well, uh, I was raised Catholic. I was raised Catholic. And oh, peace be with you. And also with you. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. <laughs> As I'm telling him about my uh, religious background, he's laughing at me. He is laughing at me. He's giggling. He's like, you believe this? This is what... <laughs> uh, uh. Now for his own entertainment, he says to me, let me ask you this. <clears throat> what do you believe happens to you after you, um, after you die? And I said, uh, okay, well, um, hopefully I live a good life and my soul goes to heaven. And when I get there, all my ancestors will be waiting for me like it's an airport. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Guess who's dead, sucker? Ah, come here. Come here, float over here. Check this out. I'm telling him this. He's laughing even more. He is so condescending. He's so snarky with his fucking attitude. Yeah, snarky. It's a word. Google that shit. It exists. I'm not kidding. Snarky. Great word. Google magic, my friends. And just in case you're wondering, I do keep my keyboard right at my lips. I know you see this happening. You're like, man, that's awfully close to your face. Oh, I know. That's because for the space bar, I kiss. That saves time. To whom it may concern. And I kiss. Unless it's an aggressive letter, and then I headbutt. I headbutt the space bar. I have a pad on there. How dare you? How dare all of you? So he's laughing at my beliefs, and finally I just snap back. What about you? Okay, what about you? All right? What happens to you? You're an atheist. What does that mean? What happens to you after you die? Now he gets very serious, like he's gonna school me, okay? He looks, he goes, oh, I can tell you, young man. I can tell you. I know what's going to happen to me after I die. After I pass on, my body will become one with this earth. From there, I will become a fertilizer for this planet. And with that, I will return as a huge, beautiful tree. That's what this guy believes. He's laughing at me. He's gonna come back as a fucking ficus. And I'm, and yeah, yeah. Johnny Weeping Willow over here. I wanted to slam this guy so bad for this, right? But then I stopped. I stopped you guys. Please hear me out. I let it sink in and I want you to as well. I hope when he dies, he does become a tree. I hope he, he's in the middle of the wilderness and he's doing his tree thing, whatever it is trees do. I know they do a lot of work with breezes. <laughs> and wouldn't it be fantastic if while he was out there just enjoying his treeness, through the woods a huge sweaty guy with an ax comes along. <laughs> sees him. <laughs> chops him down, smash. Put a chain around him, drag him through the mud and the muck. Throw him into a sawmill, grind him up. <laughs> Then you pound him down into paper. And once he's paper, you print the Bible on him. 